G'day guys, Cam Wild Wild Touring. Just a short video for your Saturday morning, giving you a little bit of an update on what we've been up to. So uh, we're out the front of Thunderfab right now, the guys who built my canopy and did the canopy fit out, and they've had the car for a couple of days. I'm just picking it up now. There's a full new fit out inside it for the Perth Full Drive Show. So we'll go in, we'll meet Steve, and then we'll have a look around. Show me through the canopy, mate. Yeah, right. Let's go have a look. Oh, man. Oh, cool. So that's the new surround. Yeah. Yep. So that's the surround we built um, for this air fryer. So yeah. That was wicked, man. First one we've done. So um, we put the air fryer to, to the test, and it's, oh, it's pretty good. I can see that. So. <laughs> so is that fixed in already? Yeah. Or is yeah, it not it's, just sitting there? It's got four rubber isolators that hold it in there, so it's rubber mounts. All right, cool. So it's not going to um, get shaken. Pieces. Wicked. So that's roof mounted. Okay. Yep, roof mounted with stainless brackets up yep. to the roof. Sweet, same induction cooker I'm running. Yep, same as yours. And then just that that's that, um, little addition we've put into these hob drawers. Little cutlery drawer. And then that can be flipped. Yep. You could do a cutout and have a drop down um, sink or whatever yeah. you wanted. Yeah, one of those little um, collapsible sinks or something like that. Cool, so that's the same yeah. setup I run, just powder coated. Yep. And what's the, the pantry? I haven't seen that before yet. So, yeah, this is what we come up with. It's all the items in here, bottles and stuff. Yeah. Jars and stuff in here. These shelves are all move up and down. As well. Oh, yeah, cool. You've already pre drilled holes so you can yep. move stuff around to suit what you need. Yeah, exactly. Like it takes up five or a room, doesn't it? Being yeah, it's like 200 millimetres wide, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice and slim. Yeah. And what's going on the other side? So, quick look, huh? Yeah. Oh, I really like that. I think I'm going to have to get one of them. <laughs> Set to tip already before we came around. So, yeah, so um, so that's the same. A couple of drawers, yeah, so that's a full height, 485 drawer. Yeah. And then this is um, 485 with the table. Wicked. Like and yeah, new shelf that's that's new as well. Yeah. So we've got a couple of different sizes. We've got a We've got this size, and then we've got another smaller one that's about 700. All oh, right, cool. Um, I can. I'm going to get this Tiff because I'll stick my. Um, I'll put my air hoses and stuff like that yeah. up here. Air yeah, hose. Quite good. Have the um, fresh water hose as well up there. Towels, that kind of stuff. Yeah. That'll be wicked. We'll get one. This <laughs> makes use of dead space yeah. otherwise. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we've got your obviously your all spark battery. Mounted behind there. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, the battery fits in the void there. Battery fits in that void there perfectly. Awesome. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Cool. All right, so if you want to have a look at uh, this fit out that um, Thunderfab have done, the car will be on display again at um, the full drive show, Perth full drive show this weekend. We're on site 154 with off-road living. Next weekend. Yeah, by the time this comes out, it's this weekend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can have a look at the electrical fit out that Off Road Living did on their D Max, and uh, we can chat about the fit out they've done on the caravan, and um, you can meet the crew and talk about your own needs. Cool. Cheers, Steve. Beautiful. Looks nice. wicked, man. Steve's also got a new next gen Ranger in the workshop at the moment, he's doing a canopy on, so we're going to have a quick sticky beak at that as well. Because I think this might be the next car. All the weights and the power and stuff definitely makes sense. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. So this was, um, Steve was saying, this is the first uh, next gen Ranger you've done a canopy on. Yep, that's right. So it's a whole new uh, size for us and plus the angles are different on this one as well. Yeah. And there's a bit of farting around with uh, reverse sensors and... Um, <laughs> shed lock. And there's a bit of farting around with um, radars and reverse sensors and stuff like that in there. Yeah, there is, yeah. Yeah, the radars from factory on these are in the tail light assemblies. Yeah. So you've got to get them out of there and relocate them. There's a bit of wiring to be done. Not impossible. Yeah, come on, wicked. So this one's nearly done. It's very good. But yeah, this thing is um, beautiful. <laughs> You weren't going to go either. No, I'm not going to sit now. I'm just having a quick sticky beat. So nice. Anyway. Have to talk to the accountant. Yeah, but at least you can put your current canopy. Yeah, that would be the plan. Yeah. Would be, um, they're very close in sizes. They've uh, Thunderfab have made this one slightly wider, slightly longer, because the range is a little bit bigger. But um, it looks as though on paper or on CAD, um, it looks like my canopy would probably be able to fit one of these as well with a few modifications. So anyway, 
early days, but just having a think on it. They're running their first um, giveaway. So you've got a upright um, fridge cage, is that what we're calling it? Yep, I've yep. got a uh, fridge surround. Whoever wins this comp, yeah. um, if they've got a 130 litre Bushman, then great, we'll give them a 130 litre surround. Um, if it's an 85 or it's a Dometic. Yeah. Um, and if it's not something that we offer or they don't plan on having an upright fridge in their uh, canopy, then um, we'll just give them the store credit. And oh, cool. They could buy something else. Yeah. Wicked, because there's a whole heap of drawers and stuff, like regardless of whether you get a wagon or a, or a yeah, use or whatever. That's right. Um, these flat pack anyway, so um, you guys can send them all over the country pretty easily, exactly. can't you? Yep. All the details are on the Instagram page. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'll put a link in the description anyway. Yeah. Way cool. And I think you're drawing that uh, next weekend full drive show time, aren't you? Correct. Yep. Yeah. yeah we'll draw that at random Sweet. Um, over that weekend. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Awesome, man. All right. Cheers, bud. Better let you go. Beautiful. No worries. Cheers. Come on. Let's go. Guys, I just want to really quickly interrupt the video for two seconds to tell you that our fishing shirts, our new design fishing shirts, have just come out for pre-sale. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, we're going to run the pre-sale for a couple of weeks, and then there'll be um, a few weeks before delivery. Yeah, just so we... We we're only doing a pre-sale just because it's, it is an expensive item, so uh, we don't carry any stock. So we need you to place your order, and then we place our order with the supplier and then it, it takes about four to six weeks. So we are in, we're almost in November now, so we're not promising Christmas No, I don't think delivery. we'll make Christmas, guys, I just, I don't want to disappoint people, so. No. Um, and the reason we can't carry all the stock as well is because these are going to be from size zero. Kid, um, kids. Yeah, kids size zero up to, I think, 16 in, in ladies. Yep, and then a, I think it's an eight XL in men's. Yeah. So there's... There's like over 20 sizes. Yeah, yeah. So we just can't physically hold that amount of stock in our house, unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah, really happy with the new design. It looks yeah, love awesome. It. We're still going to offer the old design as well. We'll do a pre sale on that as well. So if you like either of those two designs, um, you can jump on now and buy awesome. one on pre sale. Yeah. Oh, we're nearly there, mate. We're turning right in 800 meters. I'm actually filming this. I don't even know what I'm going to use it for or whether I'm going to use it at all. It might just be a Patreon video. It might go out on YouTube. I don't know. You'll know by now if you're watching it. Um, I'm up at White Gum Farm with Pete from WA Camp and Adventures, and we're doing a combined Patreon camp out. Uh, we've never done anything like this before. Uh, we didn't know how many people were going to be involved. I think we've got about 130 people coming, so it's a bit um, bigger than expected. But this venue is going to be wicked for it. They've actually got a band on. Um, there's going to be a band playing up at the bar and grill that overlooks the dam here. It's a pretty good setup. But right now we've just checked in and we're going to find our spot somewhere that can accommodate 130 people. And uh, we're going to get set up and I'll show you some of the stuff that we brought along and I don't know, I'll take you along with us. Bit of an odd one, but um, should be good. Here's Pete. He's got a trailer on the back. I'll show you what's in it when we pull up. Oh, and I've got the van, I should add, I've got the van on the back. And that's because uh, Tiff and the kids are going to come along as well. You know what's going to happen, don't you? What's that, mate? They're going to have lunch at the, um, at the bar up there, and it's going to turn into dinner and drinks at the bar up there. Not a bad little spot. Just um, drop the trailer, going to get the cars in a position. And then I'll show you what we got. What are you doing? Oh, is your camera on? Yeah, you look hot, don't worry. <laughs> you look hot. Night modes are supposed to be good. Yeah, wicked. Getting everything ready. Oh, look, we got the old keggies. One, two, three. What type of cider is that, mate? The cider's a good one. Is that Dickens? Dickens cider. Dickens cider. <laughs> Caravan life's sick, bro. You still go to the same places, mostly. Yeah. But you just look like an obnoxious So we've got about 135 people coming. So I'm really thankful that Pete's here with me uh, and that we're doing it together because I'm quite anxious about that many people coming. But we've had quite a while to, to plan this and I think we've nailed it. I think we're going to have a really good event. We're actually up a night earlier to get a few things sorted. So 
Um, it's just the two of us for now. People are going to start rolling in tomorrow. But I'll quickly whip around and, and, and show you. We're in the off-powered off, um, section, sort of backing onto the um, aeroplane runway. Um, and we sort of nestled ourselves into a, into a bit of a corner there, and we've got a few things set up. So let me quickly show you uh, what we've got going on. So Pete and I have organised a heap of firewood. So we've got a couple of fire pits going. Another one over here. A couple of port dropped in there so people can use the toilet. Some more firewood there. That's the runway sitting behind us. A couple of old aeroplanes being pulled apart out there, which is pretty cool, commercial planes. We've got a big barbecue here because we're actually going to be cooking for people. I hope we haven't bitten off more than we can chew, Pete. <laughs> we might have done. <laughs> but we're actually planning to uh, try feed these people or at least get them, you know, um, a bit of a taste of uh, what we've got for them. So Pete and I are going to be doing smash burgers. It's probably something that Pete is better known for. Um, but it's some, something that's both of our guilty pleasures in oh, that mate. Oh, it is. Mm. So is. That's a, is that a staple in your house? Absolutely. Yeah, and, yeah. and mine. Possibly that's, one night a week. It's Chloe's favourite food, yeah. so she's going to be wrapped. She's going to be here tomorrow. So uh, we're going to try to serve 130 people food off that barbecue from Pete's house. Um, and what else we got going? I'm, I've got some kegs hidden in the shade here for now just to keep the sun off them. And when people start rocking up tomorrow, I'll move them out so everyone can get into it. But I have kegged a, a cider. I've kegged a, an American Pale Ale. I bought that one from, um, oh, what's the name? Campus, Campus Brewing, they're very good. And in the angle there, I've got a homebrew beer, which to be honest with you, doesn't taste that flash. Um, but <laughs> hopefully people drink it. Wasn't my best one, it's a little bit green, it needs some conditioning. Now the other thing here is there's a full drive track um, that we've got access to. So I don't quite know how we're gonna manage that yet, but uh, whether we jump in other people's cars or we take our cars out there, I don't know, but we're gonna check out this full drive track tomorrow, eh? Oh yeah, no, I look forward to it. Mm. Everyone else doing it. Absolutely, <laughs> neither of us wanna wreck our cars. We're, we're set up, we've dug in, we're probably yeah. not moving. Yeah. No, we get Jimmy or someone, we'll jump in with them. They yeah. could be buses. Absolutely. Beautiful, mate. So we're hoping we've got enough room. Um, I don't know. We've never, neither of us have done anything like this, this sort of scale before. No, I've got like, no, I'm, I'm shitting. <laughs> but it's I'm something, it's something that we want to do more of. Um, with, oh, absolutely. With, with yeah. patrons, um, and then I don't know, maybe even, you know, like we've a got day event or something. Yeah, we've got good. crazy ideas about running like a, <laughs> like just a cool group camp, sort of like a community thing, eh? Oh, hundred yeah. percent. Like I, this, the numbers for here blew my mind. Yeah, like so it, it really did. I didn't, ex yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. No, it, it blows my mind too. So yeah, we got we got big crazy ideas. This is a bit of a a taste of it for us, a bit of a tester to to see if we can pull something like this off. You can't really go wrong, man. We got a load of wood, yeah. a load of fire pits, yeah. a load of good people who bloody support us coming along. Absolutely. Mate. And a big barbie. I don't know. And that's I what this we'll be fine. that's what this is really about. This is about Pete and I make money out of Patreon. People, people pay yeah. us to support us yeah. to keep our channel going, um, and we wouldn't be able to keep the channel going without yeah. that support. That's what puts fuel in the car, pays for accommodation. It yep. gets us away from work so that we can go make videos. Yeah, and, and also keeps you keeps you honest because you're not owned by a bloody company. Absolutely. That's, that's what I was saying to my Patreons in my last video. Absolutely true. And we just wanted we wanted to give back to them. So yeah, mm -hmm. like I mean, and this video is sponsored by <laughs> Muck Matt. No, I'm only joking. Yeah. <laughs> it's sponsored by the timber yard that ripped us off on the firewood. Oh god. Are we gonna get into that? Let's not get into Damn that. Damn you, William. No, <laughs> what was his name? I don't know. St oh, forgotten his name already. If I can remember, I'm gonna send him some hate mail. Prick. Yeah. Anyway. Right. Not well, we're gonna. Yeah. There's a wicked um, bar. It's called the Kimberley Bar and Restaurant. We're gonna cruise up there now, have a feed. Yeah, because I was thinking I'm gonna do a Yelp review. Oh, That's yeah? the only reason I'm going up. Excellent. How's the feed, Pete? Magic. Can't wait to try these, actually. Chips are good. So we haven't been able to leave the bar actually. This is we've had lunch here now, we're having dinner as well. Mm. A couple of people are rocked up. Um, main events tomorrow. That's when tomorrow morning they should start rolling in. So we're just gonna have a few beers here. Probably head back to camp, get the fire on. And um, yeah, that's it. Tomorrow they start rolling in and yeah, no, it should be a good night. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Me too, mate. 
Cheers, brother. Cheers, my man. was filmed I tried to have someone run around and um, do a bit of filming for me so thank you Craig for doing that really good event the kids were running around going feral playing together absolutely covered in dirt and mud and dust and stuff so I think everyone enjoyed themselves and uh, now we're just getting some coffee and some brekkie into ourselves and I think everyone's doing a slow pack and going we never even got out on the full drive track Diff no I paid for that too bugger no, no. Oh, also eat it s'mores. we did we eat s'mores, s'mores yeah, yeah. Did you have fun, Chloe? Yeah. Yeah, you met some really nice good. kids, didn't you? <laughs> Did you have fun? You just want to eat the GoPro. <laughs> so yeah, no, I think overall it was a real success. And um, I was gonna say, we're looking forward to the next one. Right now I'm not, because I'm wrecked. I've had about five hours sleep and I'm knackered. <laughs> But uh, it was a really good event and we will be looking forward to the next one. Yeah, and you've once planned, I've this planned off. to do them. More oh, regularly. No, I was going to say, not frequently, but <laughs> it's, it's a big event, yeah. 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 Anyway, I don't know what sort of video this is going to be. It might just be a five-minute midweek thing. I'm not sure. I don't know what footage I got. But um, thanks for being here and coming along, and thank you for all those that have supported the channel. We hit 40K, um, 40,000, so we're stoked with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's all good. Thank you to everyone who came to this event. It was, it was really nice to put some faces to names. Yeah. Some long-time supporters and some new ones, but yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, it was. Lots of like-minded people. Absolutely, it was a real success. And they're the people that make the channel. Yeah. Patrons are, yeah, I don't try I try not to go on about it too much because I don't like, yeah, yeah. Thank you to patrons. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to sponsors that um, supported the event as well and, and uh, gave us a few little things to give away. Uh, Crunchilly, Oricom, um, oh, Allspark. Uh, Off-road living, Jason Kathleen put in quite a lot. Yeah. Um, and uh, Espresso Tenango with some coffee stuff. So that was a bit of a random episode. There was lots of bits and pieces of footage of things that have been happening over the last couple of weeks. Um, but we're back to regular programming next week. Next week. So next Saturday is uh, another van video. It is not a travel video, it's our organisation and storage hacks video. So yeah. it's me going through the inside of the caravan and showing you where everything goes now that we've done a few trips. Yeah, Tiff's taking control on that one, so it'll probably be uh, a better video. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Perth Full Drive Show is next weekend, November 4th, 5th and 6th. So really hoping to meet uh, some of you guys there. If you're around, please come say g'day. I will have some merch for sale. Um, and you'll be there on your own. I'm not coming. Yeah. Um, neither of the kids. It's just it's too hard with two with, young with two children. kids, yeah, and yes. day sleeps and all the rest of it. Yeah, but that's going to be good. I'm really looking forward to that. And that's it. Um, so once again, thank you to everyone that does support the channel in any way, big or small. Not just Patreon, but watching YouTube videos, even just buying merch. It's all appreciated yeah. and very humbling. Mm. And um, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's what you're trying to say. Yes. Thank you. All right. So we'll see you next week. See you then.
van organization video, pencil it in. <laughs>